This is a recording of an article on Wikipedia and was recorded by user Popular Outcast. The material recorded is current as of the June 9, 2008 revision of the article. Morning Dove from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. For the Native American author of the same name, see Wikipedia article titled, Morning Dove, Author. The morning dove, or Zenaida Mercura, is a member of the dove family Columbidae. The bird is also called the American morning dove, or rain dove, and formerly was known as the Carolina pigeon, or Carolina turtle dove. It ranges from Central America to southern Canada, including offshore islands. Many individuals in northern areas migrate south to spend winter within the breeding range where January temperatures are above minus 12 degrees Celsius or 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Habitats include various open and semi-open environments including agricultural and urban areas. The species has adapted well to areas altered by humans. The bird is abundant, with an estimated population of 130 million birds. In many areas, the morning dove is hunted as a game bird for both sport and its meat. Its plaintive woo-woo-woo-woo call is common throughout its range, as is the whistling of its wings as it takes flight. The species is a strong flyer capable of speeds up to 88 kilometers per hour, or 55 miles per hour. Morning doves are light gray and brown and generally muted in color. Males and females are similar in appearance. The species is generally monogamous with two squabs, or young, per brood. Both parents care for the young for a time. The species is a prolific breeder and pairs will often have several broods per year. In warm areas, one pair may have up to six broods a year. Morning doves eat mainly seeds, including those of both native and introduced plants. The following is a listing of the contents of this article. Section 1. Taxonomy and Distribution Section 2. Description Section 3. Reproduction Section 4. Ecology and Behavior Section 5. Conservation Status Section 6, as a symbol and in the arts. Section 7, references. Section 8, external links. Section 1, taxonomy and distribution. The morning dove has a large range of nearly 11 million square kilometers, or 6.8 million square miles. The species is resident throughout the Greater Antilles, most of Mexico, the continental United States, extreme southern Canada, and eastern Canada. Much of southern Canada and the extreme northern central United States sees these birds in summer, and Central America sees them in winter. The species is a vagrant in northern Canada, Alaska, and South America. The species has occurred at least seven times in the western Palearctic, with records from the British Isles, the Azores, and Iceland. In 1963, the morning dove was introduced to Hawaii. As of 1998, there is a small population in North Kona. Since the Socorro dove was extirpated from the island, the morning dove has started appearing there since at least 1988. The morning dove occupies most suitable habitats, including urban areas, farms, prairie, grassland, and light wooded areas. It avoids swamps and thick forest. It is known to nest in trees in cities, such as New York City, Chicago, and Atlanta, as well as in forests of the Appalachian Mountains and Rocky Mountains. Most morning doves migrate along flyways that are mainly over land. Spring migration north runs late March to May. Fall migration south runs from late August to November. Migration is usually during the day in flocks. Birds in Canada migrate the farthest, probably wintering in Mexico or further south. Those that spend the summer further south are more sedentary, with much shorter migrations. At the southern part of their range, morning doves are present year-round. The morning dove is closely related to the eared dove, or Zenaida auriculata, and the Socorro dove, or Zenaida graysoni. 
Some authorities describe them as forming a superspecies, and these three birds are sometimes classified in the separate genus Zenedora. But the current classification has them among the other species in the genus Zeneda. In addition, the Socorro dove has at times been considered conspecific with the mourning dove. Although several differences in behavior, call, and appearance justify separation as two different species. While the three species do form a subgroup of Zeneda, using a separate genus would interfere with the monophyly of Zeneda by making it paraphyletic. There are five subspecies of mourning dove. 1. Eastern, Z. M. carolinensis. 2. Clarion Island, Z. M. clarionensis. 3. West Indian, Z. M. macrura. 4. Western, Z. M. marginella. 5. Panama, Z. M. torturilla. The ranges of most of the subspecies overlap a little, with three in the United States or Canada. The West Indian subspecies is found throughout the Greater Antilles. It has recently invaded the Florida Keys. The eastern subspecies is found mainly in eastern North America, as well as Bermuda and the Bahamas. The western subspecies is found in western North America and parts of Mexico. Most Canadian birds are also of the western subspecies. The Panamanium subspecies is located in Central America. The Clarion Island subspecies is found only on Clarion Island, just off the Pacific coast of Mexico. The mourning dove is sometimes called the American mourning dove to distinguish it from the distantly related African mourning dove, or Streptopelia decipiens. It was also formerly known as the Carolina turtle dove, or Carolina pigeon. The species' scientific name was bestowed in 1838 by French zoologist Charles L. Bonaparte in honor of his wife, Princess Zeanid. The mourning part of its common name comes from its call. Two images accompany this section of the article. The first has the caption, Mourning Dove Perched on a Wire. The second has the caption, Mourning Dove Perched on a Tree Limb. Section 2. Description. The mourning dove is a medium-sized, slender dove approximately 31 centimeters or 12 inches in length. Mourning doves weigh an average of 4 to 6 ounces. The elliptical wings are broad and the head is rounded. Its tail is long and tapered. Makura comes from the Greek words for large and tail. Mourning doves have perching feet with three toes forward and one reversed. The legs are short and reddish colored. The beak is short and dark, usually a brown-black hue. The plumage is generally light gray-brown and lighter and pinkish below. The wings have black spotting and the outer tail feathers are white, contrasting with the black inners. Below the eye is a distinctive crescent-shaped area of dark feathers. The eyes are dark with light skin surrounding them. The adult male has bright purple-pink patches on the neck sides, with light pink coloring reaching the breast. Females are similar in appearance, but with more gray coloring. Juvenile birds have a scaly appearance and are generally darker. The species call is a distinctive, plaintive, coo, woo, woo, woo. Close up, a grating or throat rattling sound may be heard preceding the first coo. In flight, the wings make a fluttery, whistling sound. All five subspecies of the mourning dove look similar and are not easily distinguishable. The nominate subspecies possesses shorter wings and is darker and more buff-colored than the average mourning dove. Z. M. carolinensis has longer wings and toes, a shorter beak, and is darker in color. The western subspecies has longer wings, a longer beak, shorter toes, and is more muted and lighter in color. The Panama mourning dove has shorter wings and legs, a longer beak, and is grayer in color. The Clarion Island subspecies possesses larger feet, a larger beak, and is darker brown in color. Two images accompany this section of the article. The first has the caption, Z. Mercura, composited with centimeter rule. 
The second has the caption, A Morning Dove Standing on a Tree Stump. Section 3. Reproduction Courtship begins with a noisy flight by the male, followed by a graceful, circular glide with outstretched wings and head down. After landing, the male will approach the female with a puffed-out breast, bobbing head, and loud calls. Mated pairs will often preen each other's feathers. The male then leads the female to potential nest sites, and the female will choose one. The female dove builds the nest. The male will fly about, gather material, and bring it to her. The male will stand on the female's back and give it to the female, who then builds it into the nest. The nest is constructed of twigs, conifer needles, or grass blades, and is of very flimsy construction. These birds will sometimes requisition the unused nests of other morning doves, other birds, or arboreal mammals like squirrels. Most nests are in trees, both deciduous and coniferous. Sometimes they can be found in shrubs, vines, or in artificial constructs like buildings or hanging flower pots. When there is no suitable elevated object, morning doves will nest on the ground. The clutch size is almost always two eggs. Sometimes, however, a female will lay her eggs in the nest of another pair. The eggs are small and white. Both sexes incubate, the male from morning to afternoon and the female at night and the rest of the day. Morning doves are devoted parents. Nests are very rarely left unattended by the adults. This section of the article contains a series of images that describe the hatching and growth of the morning dove. The first image has the caption, an egg in a nest. The second image has the caption, nesting in progress. The third image has the caption, squabs. The fourth image has the caption, a juvenile. Incubation takes approximately two weeks. Morning doves are strongly attritial, with the young, called squabs, being helpless at hatching and covered with down. Both parents feed the squabs pigeon's milk, or dove's milk, for the first few days of life. The crop milk is gradually augmented by seeds and adult foods. Fledging takes place in about 11 to 15 days, before the squabs are fully grown, but after they are capable of digesting adult food. They will stay nearby to be fed for up to a few weeks after fledging. Morning doves are prolific breeders. In warmer areas, these birds may raise up to six broods in a season. This fast breeding is essential for the survival of the species as mortality is high. Each year, mortality can reach 58% a year for adults and 69% for the young. The morning dove is monogamous and forms strong pair bonds. Pairs typically reconvene in the same area the following breeding season, or sometimes may remain together throughout the winter. However, lone doves will find new partners, if necessary. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, Morning Doves, Mating. Section 4. Ecology and Behavior Morning doves eat almost exclusively seeds, which make up more than 99% of their diet. Rarely they will eat snails or insects. Morning doves generally eat enough to fill their crops and then fly away to digest while resting. They often swallow grit such as fine gravel or sand to assist with digestion. The species usually forages on the ground, including at bird feeders. At bird feeders, morning doves are attracted to one of the largest ranges of seed types of any northern American bird with a preference for corn, millet, safflower, and sunflower seeds. Morning doves do not dig or scratch for seeds, instead eating what is readily visible. They will sometimes perch on plants and eat from there. Morning doves show a preference for the seeds of certain species of plants over others. Foods taken in preference to others include pine nuts, sweet gum seeds, and the seeds of pokeberry amaranth, canary grass, corn, sesame, and wheat. When their favorite foods are absent, morning doves will eat the seeds of other plants, including buckwheat, rye, goosegrass, and smartweed. 
Mourning doves can be afflicted with several different parasites and diseases, including tapeworms, nematodes, mites, and lice. The mouth-dwelling parasite Trichomonas gallinae is particularly severe. While a mourning dove will sometimes host it without symptoms, it will often cause yellowish growth in the mouth and esophagus that will eventually starve the host to death. Avian pox is a common insect vectored disease. The primary predators of this species are diurnal birds of prey such as falcons and hawks. During nesting, corvids, grackles, house cats, or rat snakes will prey on their eggs. Cowbirds rarely parasitize morning dove nests. Morning doves reject slightly under a third of cowbird eggs in such nests, and the morning dove's vegetarian diet is unsuitable for cowbirds. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, A Morning Dove Perched on a Tree Branch. Section 5. Conservation Status the number of individual mourning doves is estimated by BirdLife International to be approximately 130 million. The large population, as well as its vast range, are the reasons why the mourning dove is considered to be of least concern, meaning that the species is not at immediate risk. As a game bird, the mourning dove is well managed, with roughly 45 million shot by hunters each year. There is some evidence of a decline in western areas of its range. The species does very well in areas altered by humans. As settlers and immigrants cleared the forests that once blanketed much of North America and started growing crops, new habitats for the morning dove opened up. Section 6 As a Symbol and in the Arts The eastern morning dove is Wisconsin's official symbol of peace. However, it is ironically also legal to hunt the morning dove in Wisconsin. The bird is also Michigan's state bird of peace. The morning dove appears as the Carolina turtle dove on plate 286 of Audubon's Birds of America. References to morning doves appear frequently in Native American literature. Morning dove imagery also turns up in contemporary American and Canadian poetry in the work of poets as diverse as Robert Bly, Jared Carter, Laureen Niedecker, and Charles Wright. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, Audubon's Carolina Pigeon. Section 7. References There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 8. External Links This section includes a list of external websites where you can find additional information on the subject matter of this article. Link 1 is titled, More Detailed Information About Breeding Nesting Habits. Link 2 is titled, Morning Doves on the Internet Bird Collection. Link 3 is titled, USGS Page. Link 4 is titled, Information from Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Link 5 is titled, South Dakota Birds Page. Link 6 is titled, Morning Dove Movies. Link 7 is titled, 28 morning dove photos. This section also includes a link to the Wikimedia Commons project which has media related to Zeneda Macrura. This section also includes a link to the Wiki Species project which has information related to morning dove. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.